Hi, second graders. It's Miss Julie. Today, I want to talk to you about your weather project. So on Friday, before fall break, you should have emailed either Miss Sharp or myself to let us know what you would be interested in learning more about weather. You might have picked something like rain or snow or hail or tornadoes. There's so many different parts of weather that uh, you can learn more about on your own. So let's talk about what we're gonna do with that. So for today, Monday, you're going to need a pencil and this packet that looks like this. The first sheet is blank. And then on the next page, there's some lines. Grab those two things, meet me back here. All right, so for my topic, I picked seasons. So for right now, I'm just going to write seasons on the front. Seasons actually have a lot to do with weather and our planet. Um, and I'll share more information about that with you later. But I want to start thinking about some questions that I have about seasons. And my first question is, why do we even have seasons? So my subtopic up here is going to be, everybody's doing a project about weather, but my subtopic is seasons. I don't need to put my name because I'm going to put my name on the front. Put my name down here at the bottom. And we're going to keep this book together. All right. My question is, why do we have seasons? I want to come up with at least four questions. Um, but there's enough pages for five. So if I have an idea for a fifth question, I'm gonna go ahead and write it down. And that's always a good idea in case you get stuck on one question, you still have at least four answers. So my first question is why do we have seasons? My next question is what makes it cold in winter? What makes it cold in winter. And remember, these are questions, so they should end with a question mark and start with a capital letter. My next question that I have about seasons is very similar. Um, if it's cold in winter, why is it hot in summer? Why, capital W, is it hot in the summer. All right, I've got three questions so far. I have, why do we have seasons? What makes it cold in winter? Why is it hot in the summer? My next question is, are there seasons everywhere? Like, do, do other countries have the same seasons that we have? Um, I think that's how I'm going to say this. Do other countries have the same seasons we do? Question mark. There's my four questions, but I've got an extra page. I'm going to try to think of a fifth question about my topic. Um, and I want to make sure that when I'm writing my questions, I want to ask questions that I can find answers to, but I also want to ask questions that give me more than a yes or no answer. So I'm not going to say, do we have seasons? Because one, I already know the answer to that question. And two, I could answer that question with a one word, yes. I want to make sure that I'm showing my teachers and my friends that I've actually learned a lot about this topic. So um, I'm going to think of a fifth question. Your job now is to get your book, put your topic on the front, and come up with at least four, but maybe five different questions about your topic. We'll use this again tomorrow. 
All right, second graders, if you've got your four questions, maybe even five questions written, go ahead and decorate the cover of your uh, weather project. Make sure that you do it in pencil first so that if you make any mistakes, you can erase it, then color with crayons, and I'll see you tomorrow to talk about answering your questions. Bye.